So I'm making some tomato and lentil soup. Um, it's a really delicious way to use um, dry pulses like some red lentils. Um, and often you can't always get the ingredients you want, so actually if the only things you can see on the beans and pulses um, aisle is something like red lentils, this is a handy way to use them. So in my pan I've got an onion that's I've softened. To, to make the rest of my soup, um, all I need to add is some tomatoes. And then some water. Now we want, this is a really easy soup to measure. So I've used an onion, one tin of tomatoes. I want two uh, tin measurements of water. Next, I want to add some stock to give it some, some flavour. So either we added water with, our, um, with the tomatoes, but if I had some homemade stock ready-made in the fridge or in the freezer, I could put that in. Um, I'm going to use stock powder today instead, either a cube or a powder, whichever you prefer. So just pop in a teaspoon or just like that. Now, here's a really good rule. Every time you add a tin of tomatoes, you're going to need to add some salt and some pepper. We said don't be scared of the salt. This is home cooking with raw ingredients, so you need to make sure you add plenty of flavour to it. So my salt here, so for a tin of tomatoes, this is a guide, I would add maybe half a teaspoon of salt for a tin of tomatoes. Um, you can, you, some people prefer to add less, some people might like to add more, but that's, that's not a bad place to start. Um, a little teaspoon of sugar. So that's my soup seasoned, salt, saltiness and sweetness. So next we're going to add some lentils. Now these are they're a good source of protein, help keep your tummy full, give the soup some body. If you just wanted to make a simple plain tomato soup, that's actually what we've got already. Some tomatoes, you might want to boost it with some fresh tomatoes or some tomato puree or something, but that would make a nice simple tomato soup. So I want tomato and lentil. So these, I'm just going to measure, we're using um, a mug actually. So I would say for a tin of tomatoes worth of soup, half a mug's worth of lentils. If you're cooking, if you have an argot and the ovens are on, you can cook it in the simmering oven for 20 minutes. With a conventional cooker, simply do it on the top, on the hot for 20 minutes or so until it's done. And actually, this is a great recipe, it's really economical. The onion is about 20p, the tomato is about 40p for this tin, but they might be slightly more. The lentil is probably only maybe 25p or so for the lentil to be used, if that. Um, so all in all, it's going to be less than a pound for a nice big pan of soup that's going to serve six people at least. So the soup's been simmering for about 20 minutes. Um, the lentils have cooked. So they have gone, uh, they've kind of expanded and they've gone nice and plump and lovely. Um, if you want to, you can blend this soup now. It will blend really nicely. Give it a good minute or so in a blender to get it nice and smooth. Um, it's nice, not blended. Um, if you want to blend it, but you haven't got a blender actually, then the next best thing to use is a potato masher. Just mash it away. It won't make it super, super smooth, but it will make it a bit smoother. And that's handy for any vegetable soup, actually. If you don't have a blender, but you don't want big chunks. So this, um, all I'm going to do now is just serve a nice bowl full of this. Um, it's really tasty and really delicious and nutritious. And it will be filling and warming and all the things you want soup to be. If you've got some herbs in a garden or in a pot on the windowsill maybe, or even just some dried herbs from the cupboard actually, they're really nice to garnish it with a little sprig of thyme. Um, and actually if you like a little drizzle of some olive oil would be nice, just give it a little bit of flavour and richness and make it even more delicious.